We all have used a pie chart or a bar chart, which is uh, very, very useful, no disputing that. But let us uh, move beyond a bar chart, a simple bar chart, and let's look at uh, a clustered bar chart. So in this particular presentation, I'm going to show you a very, very easy way in which a clustered bar chart can be used. And charts, graphs are very, very useful, especially when you, want, when you are doing exploratory data analysis. Without doing exploratory data analysis, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's not advisable to do modeling and such things. So to do a clustered bar chart, what I'll do is, uh, let me just grab a data set. A very simple data set, uh, again, a very, very useful data set. You have a credit history of uh, different customers. So the first customer is rated as bad, based on uh, his performance, his bad credit uh, rating. So uh, uh, what are his demographic details, age, income, credit cards, education, and car loans? Now, at a very, very high level, what I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, sort of uh, generate a few graphs, analyze descriptive statistics. And one of the first options here is frequencies. Within this frequency option, I will choose all my categorical variables. It says uh, display frequency tables. I will remove this. I do not want this. What I want is basically a chart. Now you can choose a pie chart here and you can show percentages on the pie chart. I repeat, you can just choose charts here within the frequency option. Uh, at the right hand side, you can see the second option charts. Click on this, choose the pie chart and you have an option here. Either you can show frequencies on the slice or you can show percentage. Please click on continue and then okay. Wow, you can see here, uh, you are getting a pie chart. The first of the variable is a credit rating. It is split into two categories that is bad and good. I see a predominant uh, red category, which means that if you look at the legend, it explains that uh, red stands for good and blue stands for bad. So I see a bigger chunk corresponding to good category. There are more number of people who belong to good category and fewer number of people who belong to bad category. Now, it is not showing the percentages. Question is, uh, how is it that I display percentages here? Let me just double click on this. And you see uh, an option here, which is known as data label mode, right? Uh, it is uh, to the left side, data label mode. You need to click on this option and then click on the red slice followed by the blue slice. Now you see the percentages, which is almost uh, close to 60% of uh, the customers have a bad credit rating here, and only 40%, approximately 40% of them can be called as good credit risk. This is as far as the variable credit rating is concerned. You also have another variable income level. Again, you see three portions here, the green, blue, and red. The green one corresponds to high income class, Red corresponds to medium income class. It looks like uh, most of the employees, uh, most of the customers rather uh, belong to medium income class. And finally, I can see the low income class, which corresponds to the blue category, the blue slice. Let me scroll further down. You see number of credit cards. You see a red color and a blue color. Red color is the one which is uh, the dominant slice here. A uh, red color here, if you look at the legend here, uh, it corresponds to red color uh, uh, slice corresponds to five or more credit cards. So a lot of uh, uh, customers in this data set have five or more credit cards, and there are very few people who have less than five credit cards. I'll make a move on to the next uh, variable, that is education. You have two uh, splits here, that is high school. Those people who completed high school and those people who completed college, there is nothing much to choose but the two. You see 50% of them have completed high school in this data set and the remaining 50% have completed college. The last of the variables that you have is uh, car loans. Uh, you see a dominant slice, uh, red slice, corresponding to, read the legend here, more than two, it says, 
these are people who have got more than two car loans and the blue slice corresponds to none or one they either have zero car loans or have one car loan now this is a very very simple pie chart i know that uh, this is not the objective here but just to get get a perspective of uh, the data set i did this now the real uh, deal begins now how do we sort of show a clustered bar chart right a simple bar chart is one thing but to show a clustered bar chart is quite another now even before i jump to clustered bar chart let me just show you uh, a bar chart but to show a bar chart uh, i have got the variable age which is a scale variable fine so what i'll do is i'll just go to the option analyze and uh, in this particular option you see a variety of graphs that are being displayed not uh, uh, you don't see any option which uh, sort of produces a bar chart here so let me just choose the option graphs here and then legacy dialogs within this option you can choose the option uh, first item here which is the bar chart i am looking for a simple bar chart so let me just uh, choose the option define now the scale variable here uh, you can choose this you can show the sum or the mean here i'll choose the variable mean what is the average age right if you want you can to uh, click on change statistic you can show the median mode number of cases or sum i'll choose the option mean here and as far as the category axis is concerned i will choose the option credit rating what this does is it gives me the average age between a bad credit risk and a good credit risk let me see if there is any difference that i can uh, sort of uh, show you uh, not much uh, bad credit risk you can see they are close to 30 and as far as the good credit risk is concerned they are 35 years so we all are familiar with a simple bar chart what what i intend to do is as i uh, uh, as i began in the introduction i wish to show you a clustered bar chart let me go to the data editor let me choose the option analyze descriptive statistics and choose the fourth option here which is called as cross tabs as the name itself suggests cross tab you need at least two categorical variables to produce this particular chart so you've got credit rating which can be taken along the row and all the categorical variables can be taken along the column right i've got a simple variable which is credit rating as you all know bad and good these are the two uh, uh, categories and all the remaining demographic variables i will be choosing along the column uh, do i want to display a clustered bar chart yes do i want to suppress the tables yes right i don't want to see tables and such things because it's uh, not easy on the eyes i would rather uh, look at uh, the clustered bar chart so this is an option through cross uh, through cross tabs you can specify a variable along the row you can specify a, a few variables along the column R uh, remember you need at least two categorical variables one along the row and the other along the column to produce a clustered bar chart we are all set to go let me hit the okay button fantastic you can see here uh, these are what are called as the clustered bar chart along the x axis you have the bad and the good uh, credit rating let me just uh, inspect what is happening as far as the bad credit risk is concerned i see predominantly two slices that is the blue colored slice and the red colored slice and i see a very very short bar corresponding to the green colored slice now as far as the blue and the red are concerned blue and red would be low income class and the medium income class so what is the message that we can derive from this beautiful cluster bar chart i can say when it comes to the bad credit rating predominant class predominantly they belong to the low income class or the medium income class you see very very few people in the high income class uh, who happen to be bad credit risk compare this with a good category you see uh, extremely long bars corresponding to red and green and a very very short bar corresponding to blue the red and the green correspond to medium income level and high income level so what is the message that i can draw from this i draw a very very important message and that message is when it comes to the good credit rating a uh, good credit rating 
predominantly you either see the medium income level group or the high income level so this gives you a, a hundred feet perspective about what is going on in the data set. I'm not doing any deep learning model here. I'm not doing any machine learning technique or decision tree, none of those things. But a simple bar chart itself sometimes reveals a lot, right? Uh, a data set, I've told this earlier, I'll say this again. Data set is just a fact table. It does not tell you much. But the moment you start drawing charts like this, the moment you start slicing and dicing the data set, the data set reveals a story. And our job as data scientists is to pick up the story behind the data. Let me just look at another set of analysis. As before, you see bad and good. This is in the x-axis. You see two bars corresponding to bad. The blue bar is very, very short, which means that in the bad credit risk, people who possess less than five credit uh, cards is very, very few, right? But you see a really, really big, uh, uh, big and a mammoth uh, uh, red color uh, bar. That red color bar corresponds to five or more credit cards. So the message is very, very clear. So people who possess five or more credit cards are the ones who are dominating the bad category. Now, as far as good is concerned, the two bars are neck and neck. They're very, very close to each other. So there is nothing much to choose between the two. Let me let's make, make a move on to the third uh, clustered bar chart. I see, uh, as before in the x-axis, I've got bad and good category. Nothing much to choose between the blue bar and the red bar. They're almost of the same height. Same thing as far as good. So it's a clear indication that education is not a big, big differentiator. Uh, 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 education is not uh, whether you go to the high school or college, that itself does not dominate bad or good category. I don't think that can be used to segregate bad from good. Let's look at car loans, the last of the variables we have. Again, you see a big, big difference here between the blue bar, the height of the blue bar, and the height of the red bar. The You see in excess of 800, right? More than 800 customers belong, uh, belong to the red category. The red bar here corresponds to more than two car loans. So people who belong to the bad credit risk possess more than two credit cards. Very few of them have none or one. Now, as far as good is concerned, they're equally distributed, more or less equally distributed between uh, none or one and the second category more, or more, more than two. So you can see here a clustered bar chart is a great weapon at your disposal to slice and dice the data set. This can be used as a preliminary analysis, especially when you're doing logistic regression or decision tree, because it has a great ability to reveal insights in a very, very easy to understand manner. Please remember the end user whom you are going to show this output to may not be a data scientist. He may not be a statistician, so he's not going to understand a lot of complicated statistical metrics. So for people who do not understand statistics, statistics uh, illustrating what the data is telling, conveying what the data is telling through simple graphs uh, would be a lot, uh, would be a lot, it, it would be a lot simpler and easier for them to digest these graphs rather than sophisticated uh, algorithms. With this, with this, I conclude the presentation as far as customer are concerned. I'll see you in my next video.